So it's welcome to Mo Hotel Adventures. I'm on a little mission today to do a little pre-trip check over on my motorhome. So I thought I'd take you guys along, show you what we're doing, and I uh, hope you enjoy the, uh, the little tips that we're uh, about to offer you. So first thing this morning, um, I got in my motorhome and I started driving and uh, anyway, I'd, I'd sort of like done about six miles. <laughs> the next thing, the telephone's ringing, it's Metatrack. Um, the tracking system and alarm system on this vehicle, they ring, they rung me up to uh, notify me that my uh, immobile, the, um, the key fob battery is running low. So uh, it was kind of like, well, thanks guys, this system, them, absolutely works a treat um, so they they've just shut they've just um, shut it down for a little um, a minute on the uh, the battery notification thing until I get a new battery in the fob so I quickly shot onto Amazon got a battery uh, ordered up pictures are in the uh, video here and uh, so uh, we will wait for Amazon to deliver that so hopefully it'll be here by about Monday and we'll just pop that in the key fob and get that back in operation so what I did actually I've just run through a little checklist of things I want to be doing today which is going to be my most important thing today is actually the tire pressures um, I noticed one of the back ones looked a little bit uh, um, so I'll check it in a minute it's not not dangerously low or anything but I just what it's been playing on my mind so we're gonna have a look at the tire pressures we're gonna check uh, have a look at the tires um, the lights uh, instruments the washer is gonna top up the um, the washer fluid uh, just a general like look around uh, dip the oil check the water just a little bit of routine maintenance so I've just got a little checklist just to remind me of what I uh, wanted to do and uh, always a good thing check the horn um, why do you need an audio warning device because if some crazy person uh, yeah if it's out on the motorway you want to warn somebody you know what it's like or even that simple situation where someone's back in their moat on a tight motorhome park somewhere and uh, he's getting a little bit close to me oi that's why I need an audio warning, um, so which is always a good thing. And uh, the next thing inside the vehicle is obviously the uh, instruments. Uh, this is pretty up together, everything's pretty up to speed, but um, it's always a good thing to just make sure all, all your lights are working, your hazard warning switch. So there it is in the middle of the dash, and we hit that, and straight away everything's working as it should do and I can see the lights actually flashing outside Yeah, so this is the wheel that, uh, with a tire that looked a little bit lower than the rest. So I'm going to uh, just check this pressure um, in this one. This was the one that was being a little bit of a concern to me. So let's get the uh, dust cap off there. And uh, what I've actually got here, I've got a little extension because I know this one, this valve here, it just won't sit on very well. So I've got a little extension to make it easier just to extend it. Uh, get in a better position let's go around that way so then I can come underneath we'll just pop that in and then I can get this Volvix inflator onto the extension better let's get set up there we go and what are we on we are on 50 PSI. So let's get this whacked up. So these tires um, go between 65 and 80 PSI, depending on what load you've got on them. Um, I'm going to jack these up to 75. So let's get back on to 75 with this one. Um, to be honest, this has done a few miles. We've been uh, right down Spain. And I haven't rechecked them, which is a little bit uh, 
just getting that chance but there we go 75 psi on the nail that's perfect right i'm going to quickly waz on and do the rest front one oh that's not too bad he's on 70 so i'm going to jack him up to 75 as well just to make it nice and even all the way around just uh, putting a little tiny dab of spit on there just to make sure the valve isn't leaking that's fine on the last one on the rear chuck him on he is not too bad 65 so it was uh, definitely that other side that was a little bit lower compared to the rest but i've checked the valve all looks pretty good that'll do just wanted to check the depths on these as well and make sure they're all running fairly evenly so i'll get in there in the tread and check that one and we are running about eight mil left on that one so that's cool other side on the front that's the good thing about swapping the tires around occasionally and uh yeah, he's about 7.5. That's okay. And the last one. Penultimate last one. <laughs> Nearly on the other side. So this one here is around 7. And the sun is shining. And this last one on this side. Let's just have a look at that. And 7. So we're pretty, not bad. Nice and even on the tour uh, wear. Right, get the bonnet undone. Long ago when we did the wiper blade replacement on this, so we've got some nice Valio wiper blades on, so they're all nice and pristine. Make sure the jets are working nice. Okay, screen wash. Get the little tube out. Perfect. So still a bit of uh, summer screen wash going in at the moment, which is fine. And uh, we're just going to uh, waz that in there. Joffy hadn't got his funnel today, so he's making a little bit of a mess, which is very unusual. But um, it's all a time thing today. But there's nothing worse running out of screen wash on the road, on a trip. We're done. Back in. Cap on. So we're just checking the levels, um, brake fluid there. I'm just gonna unscrew the cap quickly. Sometimes it's a job to see through this plastic, but I can see the level in there, perfect. It wasn't that long ago we did the pads on this, so it's all, uh, it's all good. The coolant level is halfway between the maximum and the minimum, which is perfect. The power steer, and if you need to get to it, is in behind there. There is this little tiny cover if you need to top it up. So uh, as we've seen in previous videos, this is the power steering fluid there is a little dipstick on there so you can just drop that up and it's halfway between the maximum and the minimum which is perfect the the next one the blue one is obviously the top up for the coolant so that's the uh, coolant one there and uh, then you can see that this has got a little tiny couple of lugs on the cover that clip in and uh, happy days back on with the cover Okay, so we're uh, going to dive into the engine oil next. There is the top up there. The dipstick is just in front of it with the red top on it. And uh, let's get the oil dipped. Let's see what we're uh, doing here. I haven't uh, done this for prior the oil change and the Spain trip. So uh, we'll see what, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what the level is like. Um, it's not bad. It is down a little tiny bit, about a quarter of an inch on the dipstick. You can just see the top mark there, the level is about there. So it's about a quarter of an inch down, so that's not too bad at all. Um, I'm just going to dribble a little bit in. We're just going to put maybe half a litre of engine oil in just to bring her back up. So we're just going to pull the filler off. I've got a convenient small container of engine oil which I'm just going to uh, if he can very gently there 
there she goes just to keep it right up on the level so there was a bit of controversy when I changed the oil well not too much of controversy uh, the recommended um, from my factors was 5 th um, W30 so uh, this is what I'm adding now just to uh, keep it even there we go that's probably going to be enough okay let's uh, give it a minute just for that uh, oil to run down and uh, then we'll just read it that back in with the dipstick and that is spot on you cannot get much better than that lovely that's it engine oil completed back on with the cap okay back on with the filler cap and just wipe that round dipstick back in position little white brown there that's uh, mission completed so that is our engine bay for the minute um, complete hopefully the amount of times I actually do this I should never ever get a problem with a door lock a little bit of spray grease today hab door in she goes a little bit of that in there gas locker toilet locker garage doors LPG locker and the last one of all is a little locker on the side so I'm armed again with my uh, little wax oil tin I'm just coming underneath again to have a little visual look around um, so I'm just going to put that on the side a minute so we're just going to have a little visual around, look around underneath make every, making sure everything's secure all the uh, the waste tank pipe is all in good condition um, just visual my exhaust is still looking nice and clean from that time when I give it a, uh, in the springtime we give it a really nice clean up and uh, we know we've got the uh, the brand new discs on there and the pads so it's all looking really nice under here it's just, just a, a visual look around to make sure everything's uh, in order right let's arm myself and uh, remember the um, we did the little video on the the handbrake adjustment on this one is located up between the waste tank it's all looking nice I'm going to uh, get a little bit of lube around there again in a minute arming myself with a spray grease keep it well lubricated up on the little pivot up through again that step the old favourite electric steps they don't like the seaside but plenty of lube on them and there's my electrical connection absolutely loaded with uh, wax oil so uh, there's nothing like getting a little bit more on if you possibly can so uh, we'll just load her all up be all ready for the winter there there's the uh, the, the uh, post the earth post absolutely lubricated right up you just can't get enough of this stuff I can't anyway <laughs> got the uh, alarm system the growler so we'll get plenty of lube around them little brackets again keep it all free from rust even the little screws on the cabling spare wheel winch I did the uh, pressure on this one and I can feel the pressure. It wasn't that long ago we did the pressure. I made a little incision underneath and got in onto the valve. But uh, I can feel that that is solid. So always make, you, make sure your uh, spare wheel has um, got plenty of pressure on it. Um, this one is still wrapped up. So uh, one day when I need to use it, it's going to be like Christmas Day. Um, yeah, so uh, let's carry on lurruping around with the... Uh, 
let's just have a look these brackets for the waste tank I'm gonna go along there again just cannot get enough of this stuff underneath for protection all around them steel tank brackets right along the front that where it gets all the weather this stuff is just a uh, ejecting out of the can oh I think oh my got a bit of blockage but I'm just uh, just going to use as much it's better off on your motorhome than uh, in the can on the bench again working right up to the front of the vehicle I can see the the starter motor connections were all already uh, lubed it up previously and it's still looking absolutely corrosion free up there so uh, let's whack a bit more duct out of the um, wax oil stuff around front of the sump it just does not hurt it'll always wash off in the spring come around on the gearbox housing a little coating on that it's always easy to wash it off Cunny on the brake lines again I always do the brake lines just keep coating all the way through be all good for another winter Still going this can. Another section of brake lines a little bit further up on the chassis. Well, there it is. I think that's uh, well used. Empty wax oil. Beautiful. Job done. Yeah, so I hope that's inspired you, possibly, guys, to. Uh, run a little maintenance look over on your motorhome um, just get some of them little jobs done it's always a good thing keep an eye on your, eye on your tires um, I, I normally visually inspect the tires jack it up turn the tires um, these tires are in really good condition they're not on been on there that long back on since the uh, um, beginning of the summer trip where I uh, put them on and they were all like well checked over so always check your soy walls for cracking damage stuff like that it's the worst scenario if you ever do get a blowout and you can avoid it by just seeing a little cut in a tire um so yeah um that little check is probably um without doing the filming probably going to take you uh around uh 30 minutes possibly something like that so um it's well worth half an hour uh thrown at your motor home just to uh double check everything um all them just little tiny things that uh, may get overlooked so i've just hope i've uh, maybe brought some of them little play things to your attention and uh thanks for watching again guys and uh, we look forward to catching you on the next video i've just done this little um i want to just do this prior my trip so we've got a trip coming up um basically in two weeks time it will be uh shepton manet motor home show um if you go to that motor home show you can always come and talk to us uh discuss anything that you've seen on this video or so uh, equally send us a message um give us a thumbs up and uh yeah so uh prior and that will be prior our next european trip so um it'll gonna be full on full force <laughs> motor home adventure back in europe and we're And we're pretty excited it's gonna be a, a different kind of time for us to go in September and we are really really looking forward to it um, so that is definitely it for me today because otherwise I'm not even gonna get a cup of tea uh, so we'll see you on the next one thanks for watching bye